Dallas Cowboys meet the Pittsburgh Steelers in the Super Bowl. Today, at 30 years of age, this biggest of all American sporting events is an integral and defining element of our popular culture. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. I'm going to come right up to a lady and say, do you want to make a fast deal? Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> It might pop wide open, rats. <laughs> Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Long, long time ago, I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. I'm not a crop. Crop. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. The American Embassy in Tehran is in the hands of Muslim students tonight. You want to know what comes between me and my Calvins? He's going to be one of the great vice presidents. She is gone! What do you mean funny? Funny how? Can't touch this. Life was like a box of chocolates. 
never know what you're going to get. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> sure what lies ahead in the pop culture but we do know Super Bowl 30 will soon be a part of our sporting history for the third time in four years the Dallas Cowboys will look to win football's biggest prize for the first time in 16 years the Pittsburgh Steelers are in the NFL's biggest game a game the story franchise has never lost welcome inside Sun Devil Stadium at our NFL on NBC set overlooking the northwest corner of the end zone and a happy Super Sunday to you all, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel, along with Mike Ditka, Joe Montana, and a member of the newest class of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, former Washington Redskins coach, Joe Gibbs. And again, our heartiest congratulations. Now listen, if Ditka went in as a player, I went in as a coach, how come you guys let him boss me around on this show? Should I be calling the shots? <laughs> we have time to sort this out, believe me, over the next two and a half hours. Mike. Two Super Bowls as a player, three as an assistant, one as a head coach. Um, what's the feeling for you today? Well, I, the feelings going through these guys of mine are numerous, but I think the only one thing that counts is one, one thought, the thread that runs through this whole thing that counts. When this game's over, one team can say they're the best in the world at what they do, and the other one can't make that statement. Let's say this about our newest Hall of Fame member here. Uh, won three Super Bowls with three different quarterbacks, but no one ever <laughs> talks about the one that he lost. Uh, I tell you, having been the last one to lose the AFC, as you guys point out, I'll tell you this, it was one of the worst experiences Experiences I ever had and it's amazing you work this hard to get to a Super Bowl and you think man we had a great year you lose this game I would tell the players and coaches here today it's something you never forget yeah Joe Montana never experienced that the fans are used to seeing you in uniform at a Super Bowl down on the field uh, how's it changed for you over the years well I remember when I first came into the league I was excited to be in the NFL and come the end of that year being 2 and 14 we had zero chance to go to the Super Bowl so I attended my first one and I had a blast all the parties and all that thing but I later found out that it was a lot better being in the game all right Joe uh, if we're talking about the game and we are you'll be happy to know that the first buses have arrived here at Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe that is Neil O'Donnell the Pittsburgh quarterback talk about pressure he's the one who has to jump start the Steeler offense Emmett Smith one of the big three in the Dallas offense his ground game is absolutely key for the Dallas Cowboys today as they look for their third Super Bowl title in four years this is the Cowboys eighth Super Bowl appearance the most ever they are four and three in the previous seven 20 years ago it was the Steelers and Cowboys and the names are legend Pittsburgh's acrobatic receiver Lynn Swan an MVP winner quarterback Terry Bradshaw then passed his team to a second victory over Dallas but more important than who won is the character of the men that took the field in those games men that continue to distinguish themselves Franco Harris as a player he hammered defenses. Today as a prominent businessman he watches his modern counterpart Emmett Smith. He dominates the way Franco did. As you admire quarterback Troy Aikman's leadership and courage, you can't help but recall cowboy great Roger Staubach, now a highly successful CEO. Receiver Lynn Swan captivated crowds with his spectacular ballet-style catches. Now a sports commentator, today he'll marvel at another number 88 explosive, Michael Irvin. Cringe as Pittsburgh's linebacker Greg Lloyd targets the enemy. In the 70s, it was relentless Randy White. Today, he cowboys at his own wrench. All-pro Carnell Lake volunteered a new position to fill a void left by injury. His selflessness brings to mind the Cowboys. Charlie Waters, now a coach at Oregon. As the times have changed, so have coaches. The stoic Tom Landry, a contrast to today's emotional Bill Cower. The evolution brings flamboyant, multi-talented performers like Deion Sanders and Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback slash receiver Cordell Stewart. Today, we cheer a new generation, acknowledging, appreciating the talent of men destined to become tomorrow's heroes. Today, 
legends will be built in Super Bowl 30. and shadows falling on a 70 degree day. The fortunate brew few 76,000 fans to see Super Bowl 30, the Steelers and the Cowboys meet. Let's meet the National Football Conference champion, Dallas Cowboys. Are the Cowboys offensive starters at wide receiver from Miami, number 85, Kevin Williams. At left tackle from Hawaii, number 71, Mark Tuane. From Florida a and number 61, Nate Newton. At center, from Nevada, Reno, number 60, Derek Kennard. At right guard, from Sonoma State, Number 73, Larry Allen. And right tackle from Central State, Ohio, number 79, Eric Williams. At tight end from Wyoming, number 84, Jay Novacek. And wide receiver from Miami, number 88, Michael Urban. At fullback from Syracuse, number 48, Daryl Johnston. At running back from Florida, number 22, Emmett Smith. Let's go. At quarterback from UCLA, number eight, Troy Aikman. And the head coach of the Cowboys, Barry Switzer. Starters. At left end from Clemson, number 96, Brinson Buckner. At left tackle from Colorado, number 93, Joel Steen. At right end, number 97, Ray Steen. At 
at the outside linebacker from Auburn, number 91, Kevin Green. At left inside linebacker from Clemson, number 99, LaVon Kirkland. At right inside linebacker from Colorado, number 94, Chad Brown. At right outside linebacker from Fort Valley State, number 95, Greg Lloyd. Left cornerback from UCLA, number 37, Carnell Lake. Let's go. At right cornerback from Western Carolina, number 27, Willie Williams. At free safety from Penn State, number 39, Darren Perry. At strong safety from Michigan State, number 40, Myron Bell. And the head coach of the Steelers, Bill Cowan. 